Hey guys, this is Julie, the host of Fuller Wallet Media Podcast with my co-host, Jem. Hey, this is Jem. I'll be your candid host today, ready to bring you good quality content. And not just that, be ready to hear from some of the absolute best of the best, bringing real raw conversations and pulling back all the curtains. Our guests will be versed experts that will not be holding anything back. So get ready for a mind-blowing show. Hello, thank you so much for um, joining the Fuller Wallet Media Podcast. Today, um, we have our guest, Damon. Um, He is over Sky Network. And, you know, starting off, um, Damon, just let us know a little bit about yourself. Wow. Well, uh, I love drones. <laughs> so that's one of the things. Um, I've, uh, this is actually just a, a, a passion of mine for, for decades. I've been flying drones commercially and making money with them for, gosh, almost 30 years now. Um, and uh, about 10 years ago, I, yeah, <laughs> almost too long. Um, and about a decade ago, I started helping people uh, start their own drone businesses and learn how to how to monetize it and actually start making money with it. And it, just in the last few years, it's really accelerated just with the adoption wow. of drones and, and drones getting easier to fly and stuff. So that's, uh, that's what I do. So I just have to know out of everything in the world, what brought you to drones? Like what, what, why, what made you get into that space? So if we go way back to where it all started, <laughs> I was, uh, I was a little kid and I was just, um, it, it was funny. I was, I was, we went to a mall and I was, I was running through the mall and, uh, I tripped on my, on my shoelaces mm-hmm. and I, I had wiped out and I'm crying. You know, I was a little kid. I was like five years old. I'm bawling and crying. And I look up and there are these big giant, um, drones hanging on the ceiling of this, of this store. And I was like, wow, that's the coolest thing ever. And um, my dad finally came up and I said, Oh, I want one of those. So we went and talked to the guy and he, and found out how expensive they were. And they were thousands of dollars. And this was back, um, you know, a long time ago. And he's like, no, 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 these are, these are big boys toys. These are adult toys, you know? And, but I really wanted one and I just, I just stayed with it. And he kind of humored me, but I'm sure he thought, you know, as most yeah. kids, we have, kids have attention spans like goldfish. So the next day it'll be on to something newer and better. But boy, I was like a dog with a bone and I just wouldn't let go and I really wanted it. And so anyway, he decided that, well, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll build one because that was the only option Uh we had back then. We'll build one. And um, and so we started researching it and we actually went out on our we'd go on these little field trips every Saturday and we went out to a drone field and uh, went out and met some of the guys out there that were flying. And, And back then, these guys, poor guys, they were always missing like one or two fingers. Uh, oh because they goodness. had to start their, they had to start the drones, but with their hand. And a lot of times they, they weren't set right, or they would backfire. They'd cut their finger off. And so, um, oh my, my dad's like, "Well, we need something without a motor, so we'll get a glider, something that we can just glide around and 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 do that." So, anyway, bottom line, we found a kit. We decided on one. It was mm-hmm. going to be thirty eight dollars. Um, and I had to earn the money. So there weren't a lot of income opportunities for a five year old. And, uh, and I actually started that, that Christmas before my grandfather had just, just got me, um, I was like the coolest kid in the neighborhood. He got me, remember those little Hot Wheels, little Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars? Uh So he got me 101 Hot Wheels because my sister was in love with the 101 Dalmatians. So she got stuffed animals and my grandfather Mm. got me 101 Hot Wheels. (laughs) So I couldn't really write very well back then, but I made this. My mom showed me years later. I totally forgot about it. But I was brokering Hot Wheels with all the kids in the neighborhood because I had more Hot Wheels than anyone, and everybody wanted to trade. Oh, my God, I love it. So I charged a five-cent commission to broker these deals, and um, I would would trade the Hot Wheels um, for everybody. And I and then I do other little jobs. I couldn't operate. Like, I couldn't mow lawns or anything. I wasn't old enough or big enough, but um, I would – like pull weeds for neighbors or, you know, I would do any little side job I could. And um, I was writing letters and crayon to family members that are like, please help me with my drone project, oh, you know, I for birthday it. and Christmas and Easter and any, any money that would come in. So finally got enough money, bought it and we built the drone and it took two years to build it. Wow. Um, we, wow. we'd, uh, well, I'm sorry. That's an exaggeration. It was about 14 months to actually get it all built and everything. Um, and then we did our first flight and it was the most exciting, exhilarating and euphoric 
seven seconds of my life uh, wow. until it crashed down and blew up in a million pieces. And then it was the most devastating experience my little, you know, at that time, six-year-old body had ever, ever wow. experienced. And so anyway, we ended up, I know. Yeah, we ended up rebuilding it. And then I finally learned to fly. And then I just got, I was just, I was just eaten up with it. And then um, I, I started competing. I actually represent the, represented the U.S. team uh, in the early drone racing. And, and wow. if you've ever heard of FPV racing or drone racing, we used to do it um, way back in the day and, you know, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And these were a little bit different style drones, but they were really fast. They'd fly about 250 miles an hour and they pull 46 Gs in the corner. So they were really, really cr But um, oh, wow. anyway, it finally, that then led into the actually starting ball. a drone business and, and, and making money with it and, and doing that. You found your passion at such a young age. Fast forward 2022, you're now the drone boss, right? So yeah. Why do you think that the drone industry is exploding today? Wow. Well, it's it's really the, and and I hate to sound cliche, but it's really kind of one one of those once in a lifetime opportunities, and all the planets are aligning, everything's just mm -hmm. perfect. So, it, what I mean by that is like for decades, it was it was a a self regulating industry, meaning it took on average about five thousand to eight thousand flight hours to even be good enough to begin to think about flying drones commercially. And, and most people wouldn't do it, and, they, and there wasn't much opportunity. But now drones are easier to fly and harder to crash than ever before. So the ease of use, you, you know, you, anybody can learn to fly drones in, in just literally a few hours. Um, it's easier to fly than ever. And Is then really? we're seeing a massive, a, oh, it's ridiculously easy. I mean, the, just like your phone. it's complicated. Because, no, it's so easy now because there's, the computers do all the work, right? Yeah, it's like, okay. imagine, imagine self-driving cars in the next 20 years. That's kind of where drones are right now. Yeah, so, so crazy. It's, I didn't know that. Yeah, they have sensors. That if you, it's, it's almost like a video game. If you get confused or panicked, you just let go of the sticks and the drone just stops. So you can think it keeps the altitude, it compensates for the wind, it adjusts for everything. What it's got is object like avoidance that? sensors, so so if you try All and fly right. into something, it won't let you. I mean, it's just it's what? it's got that is so, so crazy. Easy. So what, I just gotta ask, just to know, when you bought your first drone eight eons ago, right, five six years old today, like what is the drone like? What's the cost? basis kind of range is there like a range well like a, a comparable range yeah so so back then it was it, it was actually a lot more expensive um compared really? to what it is now and and, and think about it's just like uh, it, it's with with any industry right you have uh as technology comes out then it ends up you hit you yeah. finally get to a price saturation point but the quality gets better look at flat screen tvs like when flat screen when plasma sure. tvs first came out they were like 20 to 30, some of them even pushing $40,000 for a 42 inch plasma TV. Wow, well, now you can go to true. Walmart and you can get yeah. a 55 inch for 250 bucks, right? And <laughs> that is true. It's, you know, it's crazy. So that's what we've seen with the drones. So the technology just keeps getting better and better and better and better. And the price kind of keeps coming down. We've kind of hit a, a market stabilization point. Mm -hmm. for the for the kind of what I, I consider prosumer drones that are kind of good enough that you can make money with and you're that okay. that price is about a thousand dollars so we're not really seeing the price come down much under that but we're seeing the quality go way up That's i mean literally bad. you can get you, for a thousand dollars nowadays what would have cost about eighty thousand dollars about 12 years ago it's the exact basically the exact same drone and technology oh, so wow. that's how that's and that's the other reason why it's just the the industry is exploding because now the the drones are better than ever it's easier to fly and also everybody's start not everybody but companies are realizing all the benefits like we can this is one thing that blows my mind like drones can go up and do inspections right for cell towers yeah. and bridges and power lines and and wind farms and all this stuff currently we're sending human beings up there and um last year there were over 300 fatalities for wow. doing um, these type, these type of, of, of inspections. And the scary part, 82% of those fatalities were actually doing just a routine inspection that a drone could easily do today, but they're not oh there yet. Gosh. So they're just starting to slowly adopt it. So I look at that and I'm like, gosh, how can, 
there we could be saving lives right now we're not yet but we're yeah. just on that cusp we're right at the beginning of it and then the other side of it is the 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 information we get like you get we can get better data we can get it faster and more efficiently than than essentially what humans yeah. can get for a lot of in a lot of these cases and all that equates to as far as businesses go inter more efficiency for the business and ie more money and less liability so you get to save lives, it, make your business run better and faster, and you know actually produce that's more money. Point. So that's what you're doing for your your clients, which is which is huge. So, and you know it's just cool because it's you know it's right at the cusp. We're we're in the middle of it, so it doesn't really feel like it. But I imagine this is how it felt, you know, during the the invention of the automobile industry, right? The motorized carriages, yeah. um, you know, or any disruptive industry, which is what we really have here, or even cell phones, like when cell phones first came out, or computers. Remember when personal yeah. computers came out? They thought, oh, that's stupid. Nobody's going to want a computer in their home. Yeah, right. Look at our world you know? today. You can't live without a phone or, or a computer. I know. Yeah, I know. I, wish. I literally <laughs> am living without a phone right now. And I can tell you, it's been the most 24 hours of like anxiety, like I've never experienced. Like, what would we do? What would I we know, do? I'm, because I'm like, oh my God, like I live off of that phone. It's like crazy. So, so there was somebody, it, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Julie. Well, it sounds like from what you're telling me, like there's so much opportunity out there. Does it seem like an, an open opportunity for a lot of people now today, currently, right now today, 2022, do you think it's still a huge opportunity? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it, it, the cool thing is, is it is, it's literally wide open. Right now we have like the, the, the supply for drones is way down here, like the, the amount of need that's there, but the demand is way up here. Oh, so wow. it's it's not gonna be like that forever, but we have a window of probably one to three years where before this catches up. And then when it catches up, it's it's not that you can't, you know, start a drone business or make money in the drone industry. It's just gonna be like every other business at that point. It'll be like yeah. opening a, a pizza shop. You can still yeah, do yeah, it, but it's a lot a lot harder now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like a, an example, there's the neat thing about it is there's so many different paths you can take. Like there, we've identified over 300 vertical markets, wow. which are like, think about them as divisions in your business. Like if you were in, in the automotive business, like you could have a paint and body shop or a repair yeah. shop or a car dealership. Well, there's 300 different ones um, in, in the drone business right now or in the, in the drone industry. And there's going to be more and more created. Um, and if you look at the most competitive one now where there is the most competition, which is real estate and, you know, just real estate photography and videography. But depending on what report you read, there's somewhere between seven and nine percent market saturation in the real estate industry. So what that means is that you have over 90 percent of the marketplace is wide open. Yeah. untouched no one's even it hasn't even made a dent in it and if you think about it pretty much you know every mls listing that's out there you know if you, the mls when it first came out they wouldn't allow pictures right because they thought nobody's going to want to look at pictures yeah. on a screen they're going to want to go there and see it in person <laughs> so they didn't even allow live. pictures <laughs> they're like yeah i'll go live it's, yeah exactly and and now mls is yeah. you can't even upload a listing unless you have pictures right mm -hmm. yeah and so the same thing all you know look at all the listings that don't have aerial imagery or drone footage mm -hmm. and that's going to be the standard um and a lot of people think you know because they've seen a couple pictures on mls that oh it's just saturated and it is compared to the rest of the marketplaces but it's only seven to nine percent saturated if you went to any other industry yeah. and said oh there's 90 percent of the market is wide open people would be like oh my god that'd be like a yeah. dream come true you know yeah that'd be so really it's pretty cool and yeah, that answered cool. that answered one one of the questions that i did want to ask but if there is somebody that wants to get in the drone business how much money would you be able to say that they would make what that what that opportunity would be well i mean it's it really depends on the person right you know um it it's 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 kind of like um you know working out or, or you know if you wanted to get get in shape but the reality is if you have if you have the resources meaning you have a you know a good gym you have a trainer you have someone that that's going to guide you through it and kind of hold you accountable yeah. then your chances for success are, are a whole lot more we do a lot of um, kind of advanced training and help people get started with with drone businesses and in fact we just had a recent graduate 
four days after graduating um, our program, um, he after completing everything, uh -huh. he got a contract for $150,000. Wow. And the great thing about this is he's going to be working, he's essentially working for six hours every Friday uh, to fulfill what? this contract. That's um, it? And, uh, that's it. That's it. That, Good that's God. it. And, that, and that's the beauty. Every Friday. Which is it's awesome, right? And that's the cool there's thing about lot, it owning like your own a lot business. Of freedom in it, too. Like owning your oh. own business and having the freedom and flexibility to do what you want. Um, all the different verticals. I mean, it just sounds like really a no brainer and to me in that sense. And it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's easy, you know, and, and, and easy to do, meaning, I mean, anything. You know, in the beginning, it's a little difficult, like riding a bike, but compared to other stuff, you don't have to go out and get a four-year degree. You don't have to, you know, do all kinds of certifications. It doesn't take you months or years to get up to speed. You know, you can you can literally do it. Like, we we teach it at our, at our we do a four-day uh, immersion training program. We do a three-day and then a more advanced four-day one. And, you know, we teach how you can literally go out the next week and start generating income. Um, you know, which is which wow. is pretty and, pretty cool. And people do that. Big boys yeah. and girls yeah, they do that. Their toys and make it yeah. money. Yeah. Like in that. fact, one of the things we do is inside our network, which are all of our, our drone entrepreneurs, people who have started their own mm -hmm. their own drone businesses, we have uh, we give them um, kind of awards so followed with like military uh, challenge coins, kind of that same theme. And mm -hmm. so we have awards where we give for our five-figure earners, um, our six-figure earners, multiple six-figure earners, people that have passed the $250,000 mark, the half-million-dollar oh, wow. mark, the three-quarter of a million-dollar mark. And we actually have guys that own drone businesses that are making more than a million dollars with their drone business. Wow. Which is, you know, it's pretty exciting, you know, to see that out really there. That's really exciting. That's actually really cool. That's like... Yes. Do you see it being like, so I, I don't see it being an over competitive market. I feel like there's like a huge opportunity right now. Like you said, now is the time in this, this window of opportunity. Right yeah, this very absolutely. Moment. It, yeah, exactly. Like I said, it's, I, and I think we have like a one to three year window because uh, you know, a lot of people are getting into it, but the, the demand is so high and uh, there's just such a, there's such an adopt, you know, it's kind of like riding a wave. Like if you've ever surfed, once you get it, it takes a lot of effort and work to get up on the wave. But once you're on the wave, you're just riding the wave and the wave's doing all the work. And that's kind of where yeah. we are now. It's just like if you can get on the wave and then you just let it just pull you up and it's just, uh, oh, you wow. know, it's insane. And, and the coolest part about it right now is because just the fact that you're providing aerial data, right? Like an aerial image or aerial video or something mm -hmm. that in itself blows most people's minds. So the quality that you have to deliver is almost laughable because it doesn't have to be that good because it's really? just, just the fact that they're aerial shots. Like I look at, I watch these TV shows that have their, you know, on-site drone pilots and they basically break all of the simple rules, right? Uh, but they're okay. on TV, you know, and it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like you, you don't do this, you don't do this, and you don't do that. And they're breaking all three of them. They're doing all of it, but they're oh on TV. Goodness. Now, now in a couple of years, that won't fly. You know, that's not going to be acceptable. They're, you know, yeah. it's going to be going to be. They're going to require higher standards for it. But right now, it's just the fact. If it's an aerial shot, that that's good enough. You know, in most cases, wow. so that makes it even easier to get in. And for people that get in now and start doing it they're going to naturally progress and get better. Just like learning to ride a bike. You know, yeah. if you're doing it every day, you get really good at it. Then two, three, four years from now, when other people are trying to get into the business, now they're going to have to be at this way higher level um, where everyone else is. It's going to make it much more, much more difficult. Plus you're already established. Mm -hmm. You have the relationships, you have the contracts you've got, you know, yeah. um, and most importantly, which is something everyone overlooks. And I think that's probably one of the biggest benefits that, that we provide in our training and, and in our network is the confidence, you know, because if you really feel confident that you can do this and you go out there and you've got a track record of doing it, then mm -hmm. that just makes it so much easier um, to go out there and do it. But in the beginning, a lot of people are really lacking that confidence or, or don't think that I can do this or I can charge that or how much do I charge or what do I do? You know, all the stuff yeah. that, that, you know, we kind of outline and make it easy for Okay. I, I can see that a lot of people asking that. They don't know what to do. Like, where do I begin? What do I do? How do Some people are even scared to approach people. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I even talk to people? So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I know that you have a book and we're going to give away a free copy of your book to our viewers. And we cool. are graciously that um, want to accept 
that you're giving that away for us. So thank you very much, Damon. The link to that is fullerwalletmedia.com forward slash drone book, and you can get that free drone book today. So Dan, we also have your free webinar that is um, a training that kind of overviews everything we went over today. And we have a link for that at fullerwalletmedia.com forward slash drone. That's just drone, D-R-O-N-E. Um, so that'll give a more sky view of everything we kind of discussed right yeah, yeah it's a little it's a it's a deeper dive and anyone that's interested in learning more about the industry the opportunities um and, and what's there then um yeah i'd really encourage you to check it out and then um you know if if, if you want to dive in more and, and even learn more and actually start making some some serious money then you know we can definitely help you with that too we're so happy to have you on our show today it's been such an honor yes thank you Likewise. And so you guys are awesome. And I just, uh, you know, I, I'm super passionate about this industry and getting responsible, safe pilots out there and, and really, really impacting and helping this big transition because, you know, drones are going to be doing delivery and, you know, medical supply what? stuff and equipment and search really? and rescue and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Wow. Sooner than later, actually it's out in, in your neck of the woods in Texas, really? they just got, we just got the first, uh, first U.S. company that was approved for delivery. They're out, they're actually up in Dallas and Frisco, but they're delivering uh, uh, medicine, Walgreens, uh, anything wow. at Walgreens, they'll, they'll deliver to you. So um, it's pretty cool. Front. Are you serious? Well, I didn't hear that. Yeah. The gas prices are right now. I know, I would throw them yeah. to my house today like, like that. I just sent my husband this morning to Walgreens to pick up a prescription, just this morning. And I dread like filling my gas tank, so. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool to know. Yeah. So yeah. what would be probably, what would be your best advice you would give to anybody starting out or interested in well, the, the side? What are some of the top yeah, things you I, would recommend? Wow. I mean, there's, there's so many. So, so one thing I would, I would really, really suggest is um, don't get, don't get too caught up. I'd be, I'd be very leery and cautious about getting on a lot of the drone forums just because there's a lot of negativity there. Um, and there are a lot of what I call the keyboard cowboys. Mm -hmm. These are the guys that are, that they, they know a lot intellectually, but they don't have any real experience in the real world doing stuff. And they're telling everybody what you can and can't do, um, yeah. but they're not out there actually doing it. And um, mm -hmm. one of the, the, the biggest challenges, which also is the biggest opportunity in the drone space now is nothing's been standardized in the drone space. So pricing, deliverables, you know, all that stuff. So yeah. That creates massive opportunity, but um, but it also makes things a little bit more difficult if you don't have the right guidance and you don't know exactly what to do and where to go, especially as far as pricing goes. So what I see people doing is kind of a race to the bottom as far as pricing. And people think, I can't charge $2,500 for 10 minutes of my time, but you can if you're saving a company that was normally spending five thousand dollars for the same thing, and you're doing it for half the price and giving them better better service. So it yeah. really becomes about the value. So um, I would I would really caution caution that on on the pricing, and I'd really recommend that you get around. Don't do the Lone Ranger thing. Uh, I call it the Lone Ranger syndrome, where you you go out there, and a lot of entrepreneurs do this, where you try and do everything yourself. Yeah. Um, it's important to focus on things, I call them RGAs, which are revenue generating activities. So focus on things that are gonna generate revenue and then farm out the rest of the stuff. And the great thing about it is you can have your clients pay for all the other stuff. You know, the, the bookkeepers and, the, and, and the, hmm. you know, anything you're gonna do with collections and marketing and sales and photo editing and video editing and all that stuff. I see a lot of people spend way too much time on the wrong things. We'll go yeah. through a lot of that in, in, you know, in the training and I, you know, I don't have enough time to go into all of it, but that's, those would probably be my, um, a couple of my, my, my biggest things. And then the other thing is don't overspend on equipment. I see a lot of people spend thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars on, you know, on equipment that they might or might not need at some point in the future. And, um, and I get that, but in the drone space, it's really just get what's good enough now, uh, because the technology changes so much and get that and then start generating money. And then we teach people how to have their clients pay for their equipment. So they're actually buying their drones and stuff. So that would be, oh, nice. that would be something else. That's a great and then probably the, and I'm kind of doing this in reverse order, like three, two, one. <laughs> and then the most important is, is getting out there and actually just doing it, just taking massive action and educating yourself. 
You know, I think I'm a big believer in if you invest in yourself, um, invest in your education, yeah. that's going to pay dividends. And you can literally, ch you can turn I literally years into weeks. Yeah. yeah. And, and you can shorten your yeah. curve dramatically. We, we have people that, that graduates that come through that, you know, have MBAs and business degrees. And they're like, I expected that it was going to take me a year, two years, three years before I got into black, meaning before I started making money and being profitable with my business. Yeah. And they're blown away when they're actually profitable in a month or two months. I mean, they're like, I, I just, this goes against everything I've learned. I just don't know how it's possible. But if you, if you do it right, yeah. it can be done. So oh, don't forget to check out the webinar at fullerwaltmedia.com forward slash drone. Check it out today. We want to thank you, Damon, again, for being on the show. Um, it's been such an honor to have you. I, I've heard about you. I've read some incredible things about you prior to our interview today. Um, you have more experience than anyone I've ever met in my life on drone. Hence so. the drone well, boss. Awesome. The drone boss. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much. It's such a pleasure being here. And, uh, you know, just great to meet you and spend time with you. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe to our Fuller Wallet Media YouTube channel. See you on the next episode.